Well, let's now take a look at how we can edit an existing one. And in the process, we'll see the kind of information that you can set in one uh, to create an object style for a surface. And as I'm going to mention throughout this series, I would recommend rather than creating any new object or label style from scratch that you simply take the existing standard one supplied with the software or another one if you've created it previously and then edit it to create your new ones. And then you just continue to copy a style and edit it to create any additional ones. Now this will save you a lot of work in the long run doing it that way. So let's take a look at editing this Contours 2 and 10 background choice here. If I right click on it, I have a choice here for edit. I also have a choice here for copy and this would be how you can create a new style from an existing one. And I can also delete an existing style if it's one that's not being used or that I don't ever use anymore uh, as long as it's not used in the current drawing. Uh, the little dog ear as I call it that you see here uh, means that the style is in use in the current drawing. So again right clicking on it and if I go to edit I'm then placed in the surface style dialog box. Now we briefly looked at this earlier in our some one of our earlier lessons. Um, so let's first go to the information tab and this is simply where I would give this style a name or edit the name if I had made a copy of it and cre or going to create a new one. I can also enter a description for it so that if I want to see what this style shows or when it would be used I can enter a description for it right here. Other information about the time that it was last or was created and last edited uh, is also in here. The borders choice here allows you to have and show a border around your surface. Uh, and you can display it using the surface elevation or uh, you can flatten it so that it's at a certain elevation or maybe even exaggerate it um, by a particular factor. And again, depending on which ones I choose, uh, some of these other choices will become available then. The next tab, Contours, it's probably a good one to look at since most of the time you're probably going to be displaying your surface data in the form of contours. Now the first section uh, allows me to display a range of contours based on a certain criteria. Um, we won't be using that but it's useful uh, if you have elevation restrictions for water service or something like that. Uh, we want again we're using that in this particular style. The 3D geometry is how we can either show the contours at the surface elevation um, and this is similar to what we looked at for our border and in the case of contours I would want them to be at the surface elevation. Legend that basically only really applies if we were using one or more of the contour ranges up here and it will allow you to create a table listing uh, the information uh, from those contour ranges. I have a standard choice here and if I look at it you can see that it was designed for basically showing minimum and maximum surface elevations. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of that. The contour interval section is one that you'll want to set if this style is to display contours. In this case I have my minor interval set to 2 feet and my major interval set to 10. Contour depressions, um, that simply allows me to display depression areas with a tick along the contours. Uh, and this is fairly standard if you've seen uh, quad maps. Um, so the, it's a fairly standard way of showing a depression where the contours actually are dropping down uh, rather than going continuing up. Contour smoothing, if, allows you to smooth the contours. And you would first either set it to true or false. 
and then you would have a choice of the methods that you'd want to use either adding vertices which will tend to keep your contours closer to the actual location on the surface or by the use of a spline curve which it will keep down the complexity of your surface um, but it decreases the accuracy of the actual location of the contour and depending on if I have that choice selected here or not I have a slider bar down here that allows me to control the amount of contour smoothing that I want that particular style to have in this case I usually set it somewhere you know maybe halfway or a little above now keeping in mind that this is um, for an existing ground surface so you might want to smooth it but for a finished ground surface display you may not want any smoothing uh, since along curb lines you don't want it to be pulled off the face of the curb by the smoothing so you might obviously want to set that to be false for that type of surface style the display settings in this area are for you to set up particular layers and colors um, for your contour ranges if you had set those up above but we aren't using any uh, this is not where we set our line type color and layer we'll do all that in just a moment for the contours